Those were Unilag students this morning on streets at their school junction in peaceful protest against continued ASU strike. They walked on the road singing solidarity songs up to their school gate, demanding that the government resolve the strike and let them go back to school. They, however, said this is just a warning strike, and if the government does not listen to them, they will continue. There has been disagreements with academic staff. We have issues of end academic hours. We have issues of funding of education. We have issues of uh, sabbatical environment. But the government has been totally irresponsible. And why have they been irresponsible? Because their children are not here. The last time I checked, all these uh, children graduated from London. And uh, again, you see all of these politicians, they, they don't care about us because it doesn't bring money for them. But when it comes to the banking sector, that's uh, their family and friends are running there. When they are about to collapse, you know the collapse of Sky Bank, they were quick to bring out trillions of Nera to pay them out. And where is the CEO of the former Sky Bank that looted the funds? We have not seen it. Baso has been saying since 2009 that 1.5 trillion Nera to fund education. I have a son that is really like Chopani Akiwande is in law. Year four. It's that so much like all these children. They are not lazy, they are very hardworking children. They are the children who they are asking for, for the betterment of all these children and the younger ones that are coming behind them. What they are asking for is just for them to have better environment for studies, good pay, good welfare for the children. And when they have all this facility, we have the best of these children. The children will give us the best of their time because why because they'll be happy they'll be well played they'll be looking for what is not available elsewhere they want to stay back in Nigeria and take and not to and bring up these children make sure them because at the end of the day this is our future and we are messing up with them We're now being joined by Plus TV Africa correspondent Paul George who is live at the University of Lagos Akoko. Paul it's good to have you join us this afternoon <laughs> Hello, Messi. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. Uh, please bring us to speed with the situation. Uh, what's actually going on right now? All right. Um, Messi, I can't hear you clearly. But if you can hear me, right now I'm still in front of um, the Uni University of Lagos gate. You know, the protest, a peaceful protest, they called it started this morning from Unilag Junction. So it was like a procession. They walked down to the Unilag gate and started to chant um, solidarity songs, you know, to, um, for government to listen to them. What they are demanding is that government should allow them go back to their class, that government should allow the, the um, education to continue. They, are, they, are, they said they are tired of staying at home, that it's no more fun. That government, um, they are even trying to, some of them purchased a form, a form of 100 million naira. So why can't they get the education working, fund education so that they can continue? This morning, um, we have some members of the police force stationed outside the Unilag gate in their vehicles. And we also have um, some... Um, civil defense here, so they ensure that the vehicular, there is vehicular movement, free vehicular movement. So the students just dispersed now, but right now I'm still in front of Unilag because these policemen are still here. Okay, um, can you also find the presence of uh, the lecturers? Do you have the lecturers present in the campus? Yes, I, I, there, there was one particular lecturer who came to address them. In fact, he came to join them in solidarity. Um, we also had some, uh, some master students who also joined them. They, they are both male and female. They came out you know, to ensure that um, go government listen to us to and resolve whatever is between both of them. So all they are asking for is that they want to go back to school. They want the education to continue. Mm. All right. Uh, thank you so much, Paul George, for being part of uh, the news this afternoon. Would you appreciate your time? Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.